Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be continuing with my oil test that I've uh, I started um, a couple changes ago. So if you're not keen to what's going on, I'm doing a long-term oil test with Lake Speed Jr. And uh, his channel, if you're not aware of it, is the Motor Oil Geek, so check that out if you want to learn anything and everything about motor oil. But uh, going through testing 5W30 and 020 in both Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, and we will also be testing Amsoil Signature Series. So I took a long trip to California and back last month and um, ran 5W30 on that one. I'm gonna be swapping in 020 so we can test that to get a comparison between it. This is the last Pennzoil test that we'll be doing. So after this, we'll be switching over to Amsoil. So, but this this test is gonna be the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum 0W20. So we will go ahead and get started. So here's what we've got for this jug of Pennzoil Ultra Platinum. Got a filter. In one filter, got my filter tool, 14 millimeter, 10 millimeter. I'm also going to be installing a Fumoto valve. Since I have the skid plate on it now from Racer X, I feel comfortable enough to put this on because it won't be hanging out and about. So, got a rag glove, and I will be using my taller oil drain catch there since it's up on the left so here's the car and let's go ahead and get started just a quick overview under here normally two <clears throat> two bolts here and this comes out so you can have access to the oil filter and then this one right here so that you can have access to the drain plug so um but i am going to pop this off this time normally i wouldn't have to do that um, and to do that, there are the four 10 millimeter bolts that go through here. These are the same OEM ones. And then uh, there's just three quick release pins and then two push pins that I've installed. Um, and this pops right off. So I wanted to check one thing under here and uh, make sure that it's good to go. Uh, one of the other guys had um, the nuts and bolts that hold the charge pipe on um, the hot side worked loose on him. So I just wanted to check mine and I need to take this off to do that. Got the panel off now. So makes it really easy. And it literally takes about two minutes. It's so quick and simple to do. So another thing that I really like, but before I even do anything though, I want to see the bolts that he was having a problem with are just right up there. Um, so I, let's see, okay, well, it's nice and snug still, but I'm going to change the oil and let this cool a little bit and then I should be able to check better but it's literally this plate right here that this piece is bolted to but it feels secure so I think I'm in good shape righty let's go ahead and break the oil drain plug off for the last time I've got my oil sample right here ready to ready to go. So we'll spin this off and capture some oil. There we go. There we go. It's got a handy little mark on it for how much oil to get in there. So this was 530. I used this oil on my trip to Southern California because I knew 
that I was going to be driving it in the canyons hard and it was going to be hot. So I'm curious to see how this does. The 020 and the 530 both did very well on my 2009 Corolla S. And I think, oh, actually, scratch that. The 020 I've tested and sent in, it's got 530 in it right now. So I did the 530 on this one first because of my trip to California. I always like to pour just a little bit of fresh oil through. Well, here's the fresh, clean oil that I pour through. It helps just push out the old oil that's still left up in there. So, about a half quart, because it takes four and a half quarts, so about a half quart in it. And let that push through. Time to get the filter off. Get a little toasty. Well, that's draining. I'm gonna go pre-fill the new filter. So I pre-filled the N1 filter with some water. Well, oil, but it looks like water. It's so thin. <laughs> so, but uh, it is amazing, I will say, how much more oil the F1 filter holds than the N1. Crazy. I'm going to lose some on this because it's filled to the brim. But. There we go. I know some people say you don't have to do it. It doesn't make a difference. But you know what? It will never hurt to pre-fill it. So... I see it build pressure so much faster. So, so if I can get oil filter two seconds faster, I'll take it. I want to point something else or something out with this dripping too. I've had people tell me that when I use my ramps, I shouldn't do that because it drains better if it's flat. And I want to show you something that, here is the low point right here. The car's flat right now, so it's draining out of here and draining farther down. So on the inside of this pan, there is still oil that is catching in here in this area, and it will not drain out. But when the front of the car is lifted up and on ramps, then this can flow in the opposite direction that it's flowing now. Right now it's flowing down this toward the front of the car, but then it would fill and drain back to here. So I just wanted to, wanted to point that out that it all depends on where the hole is on the drain pan. And now if they had put it here in the lowest point, um, you know, or over here, then that would be different. But I never do quite understand why they put it where they do. Why not put it where it will drain the most oil and drain the best? Because it's still dripping, but that's not... Uh, it will never get all of it out. That's also why I pour some fresh oil in to help flush it. Well, I got the car in the air, as you can tell, turned it on. So no drips or anything there. And no drips here, everything looks really good. 
so now I can shut it off and put the skid plate back on and we are done. So we got one more, one more oil sample ready to be done. I, I'll tell you, I can hear the difference between the 020 and the 532. It's noisier with the 020. So what did you get when you put water in the engine? 